short tutorial on the basic principles and use of the ARPS Hearst Bands Toolkit. The ARPS Hearst Bands are a statistically effective predictive mean reversion tool based on polynomial regression formulas which plot curvilinear deviation channels that can be projected into the future. What does that mean to you, the trader? In plain English, it means that in our own scientifically nerdy way, we at Yon Arps Traders Toolbox have designed a tool which works extremely well to provide consistent and mathematically verifiable entry, trend confirmation, and exit signals. The colored parallel bands above and below the center line represent one, two, and three fractional deviations, or sigma, of the closing price from the mean center line. Statistically, there is only a 5% chance that prices will exceed the 2 sigma and less than a 1% chance that they will exceed the 3 sigma line. So, when prices reach these bands, a relatively low risk entry opportunity presents itself to trade in the opposite direction of the current move. Let's start with a look at how the Hearst Bands work. The ARPS Hearst Bands Historic look at the price chart in retrospect and plot the best fitting regression channels over the look back period indicated in the user defined inputs. When you apply the ARPS Hearst Bands Historic to your chart, the indicator creates curvilinear sigma bands from the last close of price. Those bands can be of the first order which create a straight linear regression channel similar to what can be found on most trading platforms. Or the sigma bands can be plotted on the second exponential order which calculates a curved regression channel. The third exponential order creates standard deviation bands shaped in an S configuration. Or the fourth order calculates a double S curve. Unlike other regression channel tools, the ARPS Hearst Bands Historic also provides you with the opportunity to project these bands into the future, providing a statistical best guess at the direction of the price movement. Of course, the further into the future the bands are projected, the lower the statistical odds are of their accuracy. When we look at the ARPS Hearst Bands Historic tool, we see that the calculations are replotted on each new bar of the chart. This shows the previous prices as historical information relative to the bands we are currently plotting. But what did the Hearst Bands actually look like at previous times on the chart? The ARPS Hearst Bands Actual shows you where the bands were plotted at each point on the chart. It draws a veritable breadcrumb trail of the way the ARPS Hearst Bands looked on each bar as it passed. This is, in some ways, a more helpful perspective from which to analyze when making trading decisions because you are able to see at which sigma band each particular market tends to find support and resistance. If you plot the ARPS Hearst Bands Actual on top of the ARPS Hearst Bands Historic with the same input values, you will notice that the bands should meet at the plotting of the last bar. How would one use the ARPS Hearst Bands to help make more consistently profitable trades? Since trading markets is an exercise in manipulating risk in an unknowable future, one of our best allies is statistical probability. The sigma bands plotted by the ARPS Hearst tools represent exponential deviations from a norm or center line. The further the excursion away from the center line, the higher the probability that price will revert to the mean. Therefore, when the price falls between the outer bands or beyond them, 
a potential setup in the opposite direction is developing. At this point, the savvy trader should consult their market strength tools, like the ARP's Fear Greed Indicator, for divergence confirmation, and then get their timing signals for the trade from a momentum or acceleration oscillator, like the ARP's Price Leader. A good price target is the center line. ARP's first band center lines is an excellent tool for identifying trend direction and the relationship of price to that trend, as well as price's relationship to its own statistically probable tendencies. This tool plots a combination of two ARP's first band center lines simultaneously upon the price chart. One can use the first or second order center line, like some would use a greatly improved slow moving average to determine the general trend of the market, and then use a cross by a higher order center line as an indication or confirmation signal that price is moving with or against that trend. The first order center line often becomes an effective support or resistance point of reference for a trade in the direction of the higher order center line, and it can also be used for a trailing stop signal. When entering a counter trend trade, it can, of course, also be used as a target. The ARP's Hurst Band Oscillator is a tool that enables the user to view the relationship of price to the Hurst center line as an overbought or oversold oscillator. The zero line in the middle of the oscillator represents a normalized indication of the Hurst center line and the adjustable overbought and oversold lines represent the position of the sigma bands relative to that center line. User inputs allow the trader to choose which exponential order he or she wishes to study, as well as what level of sigma to define as overbought or oversold. Another interesting way to utilize the Hurst Band Oscillator is to plot two versions of the tool on top of one another with different exponential orders and or lookback settings, creating a tool which can be used in a manner similar to a MACD oscillator. Notice that when both lines are above or below the zero center line, the price is usually trending, as is also the case when the two lines are moving close together in parallel harmony. When the two lines diverge apart and onto opposite sides of the zero line, the price generally shows a consolidating or choppy tendency. Clearly, the ARP's Hurst Band tools, found within the Crown Jewels package, are extremely robust and versatile and provide the trader with an almost limitless number of possible ways of looking at the markets through the lenses of statistical probability and the relationship of price to micro and macro trend analysis. On eSignal, the inputs are accessible through the colored tab at the lower left of your screen. Each of the Hearst tools allow the user to determine at which exponential order to study price action and what look-back period to make the calculations. These will be determined by the trader's trading time frame and trading styles. But in general, the shorter the time resolution on the chart, the longer the Hearst look-back would want to be. These tools are also designed to allow for color preferences as well as alert preferences to suit each trader's individual needs. As noted earlier, the ARP's Hearst Band Historic tool also enables the user to project these calculations into the future. While running your eSignal platform, if you want information on how to use the ARP's Hearst Bands, as well as the other tools in the ARP's Crown Jewels Toolkit, simply click on the little question mark on the lower left of your screen. This will take you to a page in your browser with ample descriptions of all of the tools in Jan ARP's Crown Jewels package. For Jan Arps' 
world-renowned library of proprietary technical analysis tools, or for custom programming, please visit our website at yonarps.com. These are serious tools for serious traders, some of which were chosen to be placed on the exclusive Bloomberg trading platform used by many of the most powerful money managers in the world. Thank you for your time and interest in Jan Arps' tools. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in understanding some of the many ways that the Arps Hearst Band's tools can be used to generate consistent profits in today's ever-changing markets.